To find the oxidation numbers for each element here in KClO2, this is potassium chloride, we'll use these rules here. First thing to note is there's no negative or positive sign after this potassium chloride. That means it's a neutral compound. and All the oxidation numbers, they're going to add up to zero. Potassium here is in group one on the periodic table, so it'll have a plus one oxidation number. Oxygen, that's always going to be minus two with a few exceptions. So each of these oxygens, minus two is the oxidation number. So we could figure out what the chlorine is because we know everything adds up to zero. We could just say, we could just say one plus X plus we have the two oxygens times the oxidation number of minus two, and that'll give us zero. So X minus three equals zero. So X has to equal a positive three. And that's the oxidation number for the Cl in KClO2. If you look at these numbers, two times minus four plus three plus one, add them up, they're all going to equal zero. This is Dr. B with the oxidation numbers for KClO2, potassium chloride. Thanks for watching.